Hi, in this final slide on nichonomics, uh, wouldn't it be great, I'll give you a little vision, wouldn't it be great if from the boardroom, or certainly if you took the top three people on your payroll and sent them to separate corners and said, here's a little quiz, fill in the answers, and they would fill in the answers with perfect alignment. Everybody knows exactly what the company's trying to do, but forget the boardroom, all the way down to the break room in the warehouse. So I go to Wally in the warehouse and I say, Wally, question number one, what is this location's number one niche of customers? And Wally would actually be able to describe it to me if I asked Wally who are the five most profitable customers and who are the five most important target accounts within that niche, Wally would be able to answer me. Uh, if I said, Wally, what's the service value equation uh, or the service metrics that add up to the service value equation for the niche, Wally would be able to tick off the big eight of service excellence or whatever number you have. Um, if I said, well, Wally, so I don't get it. How does fill rates or zero errors on time delivery, how do these metrics actually improve the customer's top and bottom lines? He'd be able to explain it to me. Uh, fifth question, what does each person like you, Wally, do to ensure directly or indirectly that these service metrics happen every day? And he could explain what's going on and why that goes on and the service manager and how they gather stuff and the continuous improvement and how errors used to be 15 per thousand line items, but now it's four and et cetera. If I asked him about the Yes Heroic Acts program, uh, for four, five by five accounts, he'd be able to tell me that's what that's all about and why and so forth. And this is the key thing. So Wally, why do you know all this stuff? Why do you care? What 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 is in it for you? Short term, long term. What what how how is this all, you know, going to benefit you? And he'd have the answers. Now, ideally, we could then cycle through the whole drill again if there was a number two target niche. Assuming we'd already dominated one niche, we're saying, okay, we think we can go after a second niche, given the structure of our business. In other words, remember. It's very difficult to be a shot putter and a marathoner. They're mutually exclusive. So we've got to make sure that we have, we pick niches. We don't compromise or work across purposes as far as our structural form, our processes, and so forth. So if, if everybody in the company had answers to these questions, you would be, a, you'd be an excellence freak. There it is. Thank you very much.